We're with Will Brody. Will, a great atmosphere at training today. Yeah, it was. It was great. We had a fair few fans down and um, yeah, they were up and about, so it was great. Good atmosphere. It's good to get that finals hype in before the focus really starts for the Bulldogs. Yeah, we've sort of had a bit of an ease into it this week, um, addressed it obviously, and you know, it's an atmosphere even at training and everything's lifted, so everyone's excited. So yeah, can't wait. How has this week been and how will that compare to what the next week brings? Yeah, we've sort of had a bit of time to um, let our hair down a little bit and relax, but then sort of really build into the, the next week and sort of put our heads forward to what, what to expect. And um, yeah, we're sort of starting to slowly put our eyes on Bulldogs and get ready for it. Um, so yeah, we're all excited and building slowly towards it. A bike can complicate the routines for some. Was today just to maintain match fitness? Yeah, yeah, obviously keep the Ks in the legs and obviously we're used to hitting out on a Saturday. So um, yeah, just keeping that routine and then we recover and um, everyone should be fresh and ready to go next week. First final for you and for a lot of the boys, how are you feeling about it? Yeah, really good, a bit excited, a um, little bit nervy and yeah, just sort of gonna try and treat it like a normal week in a normal game and um, yeah, put our best foot forward. So yeah, looking forward to it. The boys had a great win on the road against the Bulldogs just a few weeks ago, but we have to be expecting a tougher challenge. Yeah, for sure. Obviously we can draw a bit of confidence out of that, but um, yeah, we know Bulldogs best is very good. So yeah, we'll prepare for their best and it's gonna be a good hit out. So yeah, we'll, we'll be ready for it. One of the highlights from last week was Andy winning the MVP. You got to see his season pretty close up. What did you make of his year? Yeah, it was amazing. It was good sort of recognition um, for his year um, to be recognised by the players as the best player. That's pretty special, I think. So um, it's good that people are tuning in to what he's doing. Um, obviously, works both ways as good as anyone. So it's it's good that he gets that recognition because yeah, he's had a bloody good year. How hard is it to, to do that working both ways? Because tackling can really take it out of you, but he's racking up heaps of tackles and heaps of touches yeah that's it's extremely difficult i mean that that's why he's there's so much respect on his name because um you know his mentality and work rate um to not only get the ball but to help the team is is really good so that's something that we love and really value inside the four walls and it's great that you know outside of that they're, they're seeing it as well and brendan didn't get in the all australian but he was in the squad a great recognition for him yeah he's been been really good all year really solid for us um really important part of you know, what we've been able to do this year. So yeah, it's, again, it's some good recognition for him for sure. And your teammates nominated Andy, Brennan and you for the MVP award. How, how did that feel to get that recognition? Uh, yeah, a little bit humbling. Um, yeah, had a bit of a consistent year. It's good that, you know, teammates um, recognize that, but yeah, no, it, was, it was definitely nice. Hopefully plenty more games to come, but have you reflected on your first home and away season with Freo? Um, haven't had a whole lot of time to reflect yet. Um, I think that time will come in another month or so, but um, yeah, I've enjoyed it so far and just looking forward to you know, what, what's next.